All right, hello YouTube. Let's <laughs> let's play some some uh, Metal Gear Solid Three, shall we? Every time, man. Every time we start up the game, we have to press X and set a circle to load a game. Every single time. All right, memory card slot one. Last time, last time, last time, last time, we died a couple times. We fought a couple bosses. Uh, that's about all I remember. So. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> we fought the bug dude last. I remember that much. The the dude that controls the bug bugs, the the hornets or bees or whatever. We took him out and now we're going like whatever. Get the camo before leaving. Okay. Where where's the camo? Where what are we doing? There's camo here somewhere. So here's the camo that we have. Because we have picked up a couple. Where the boss was. Oh, on the platform. Okay. We got naked, olive drab, tiger strike, leaf splitter, squares, black, snow, and of course, scientists and animals. <laughs> the fur. Mm, look at us, dude. Aren't we freaking amazing? Okay, so up here in like the center platform. Real question is how do we get up there? Oh, camo from bosses have unique effects. Very cool. Seriously, though, how do we get up there? Cartwheel. Ah, you know, I didn't think about that. That makes sense. Okay. So how do we... Do, 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 do. Which platform, I wonder? Which one's the closest? Okay, that one's really far away. Probably the one we were standing in, actually, then. When I finally get around to doing speed runs. We can use Gobo as a mascot. I will keep that in mind. <laughs> How do we get up? Triangle? Circle. Triangle is triangle. Okay. And how do we dodge roll? Is it square? No. It's not triangle. Uh, maybe we can't do it because we have a gun? That's not square. Maybe it is X. Hold on. Oh, yeah, no, it is X because it's like... X while running on a higher platform. Okay. Is this a higher platform? can't really see. The camera's kind of... Dumb. Yeah, that seems like the one we want to go to, but how do we get up there? I don't think we can. Well, there's probably some way to do it. We gotta, like, swim under the water. Yeah, that just dives us in, so that's not how we want to do it. What was the, uh... The camo from the first boss? Did I miss that one? It was, uh... Octagon. They're like some way to get up there. Maybe, maybe we go back here and like run around. I don't know. It was the animal one. Okay, the one I'm wearing right now. So what does it do? LF Med. I have no idea what that is, but... Top right, you think? Okay. I'm just gonna check in here. I don't think it's in here, because I think this just leads to, like, some water or something. Maybe it, like, loops around? I'm sure you're right, though. You know a lot more about this game than I do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is vaguely the right direction. We're not really heading up, though, so probably not. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back. We'll try, we'll try it your way. Top right. You decay. Just crawl around. Okay, yeah. <laughs> will do, will do. <laughs> Do 
do do do. Uh, well. Okay. For a second, I didn't think we could crawl any farther. It wasn't one to let us for whatever reason. We do have like a torch or something, don't we? Yeah. There we go. Much better. Probably stand up now. Ooh, maybe. Maybe not. So we're going down again. It looked good for a second, but... Oh, wait, wait. We're going back up. This could be it. Seeing all these crabs on the ground, I want to murder them, but you have a map, too. Do we, though? Do we really? <laughs> Yeah, see, that looked really good. Because right back there, where I guess where we crawled back down, that would have been right around where we wanted to be. But now we're going back down. Toward where, toward where we got here from. Did I miss something? Back here? Maybe. Hold on, knife. Can't just let all these crabs go to waste. Thank you. Speaking of, we probably should actually eat something real quick. Maybe. Okay, well, some of this stuff's spoiling. We can probably just drop. Dispose. 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 Okay, like, most of our food is spoiled. I mean, it makes sense, honestly. We were in that fight for quite a while. There we go. And it might also go off of, like, the console time. I'm not sure if it does. That's what the cages are for. Thank you. I was very curious about that. And I assume that would uh, keep it alive for longer. Or not keep it alive. Keep it fresh for longer. Can also be released to fuck with guards. That's a neat idea. Yeah, see, like, it seems like we want to go right there, right? But... I don't see any way to get up there, though. Because if we look at our map... This should be roughly, yeah, this is roughly right where we're wanting to dive over there at. <laughs> oh, that like puts it out. He's a skeleton. I'm a zombie animal. Small ledge by the X map, okay. Um, I'm oh, like, okay. Like, you gotta crawl all the way around, maybe. Right before you leave the area. That would make sense. We'll give it a try. I'm sure you're right. Very curious what this one's gonna be. The the ocelot one being the, like, tiger stripe or animal, whatever the hell they call it. Animals, I guess. Makes sense, you know, since he's, like, a cat person or something. But... Wait, does that not... Why is it not working? Streamlabs is working, right? Yeah, it's got to be working. Oh, you know what? It's QOTD or just say the word question. I should put in the exclamation mark question as an alias, though. But if you just say Q, QOTD or question without anything else, it'll trigger it. Uh, or exclamation mark QOTD. I'll add in that as a alias right now, though. Because it just makes sense. And if I don't do it now, I'll forget to do it later. Uh, commands. Next. 
Go TD. Advanced. Alias. Exclamation mark. Q U E S T I O N. Add. Confirm. There we go. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting that one in. <laughs> that one's that one's a little too much work, my guy. <laughs> I'm not setting up a bunch of regex rules to make that work, okay? <laughs> we're, we're, we're fine with what we got. What is the most overrated game you've ever played? I have an idea for my answer on this one, but I'm curious what other people's answers will be. Um, and to be fair, mine, I haven't actually finished the game that I have in mind yet. So, like, I may change my opinion as I get further into the game. It's not Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> I just realized that it could it could feel that way. It's not. <laughs> Most overrated game, though. I, I'm legitimately curious what people are going to feel for this one. Like, it was a relatively simple question whenever I saw it. I was iffy about putting it in there, but I was like, you know what? There could actually be some interesting answers to it, depending on how, uh, on what people answer and why they feel that way, you know? Monster Hunter or some other game you can't remember the name of, but you bought it because of how popular it was and you hated it? Oh, I can already see the ledge, man, that you're talking about. Why Monster Hunter, though? I haven't played, like, the newer Monster Hunters. I played a couple of the older ones back in the day, and I enjoyed what I played of them, I'll admit. Um, how do we go up against the wall? Borderlands. That's a good one. I quite like Borderlands. I'm not going to lie. At least Borderlands 1. I, n I never played that much 2, and then I never played any of them after 2. So, like, I don't have a super strong opinion about the other ones. Ah, oh, dude, we were so close. Okay, we just need to do it at a bit of an angle. I'm very curious, though. What was it about Monster Hunter and Borderlands that you guys make it think is overrated? I guess, honestly, I can see it. Not having played the newer Monster Hunters, I, I can't really say. But, like, Borderlands... Oh, Thinking back on it, man, it was super hyped up. Like, I really enjoyed the game. Don't get me wrong. Borderlands 1. But now that I think about it, that was all some of my friends talked about for a long time. It's just Borderlands, you know? This is the build I'm doing on Borderlands. This is my 16th time playing through Borderlands. Exaggerating, but only a little bit. You know what I mean? Like, it is... I do think I agree that it is a bit overrated. I still think it's a really good game. But it's probably overrated. I, I think I agree with you on that one, actually. It's an interesting game. Has a bit of story, but the mechanics of the game killed it for me. Your equipment was shit, and every time you tried to get better stuff, I had to go to the next area to get it. So, is it like a... Uh, is it a problem of... And, and don't take this wrong, but a problem of skill, maybe? Like the, the whole uh, Demon Souls style thing, right? Where, like you can be put in positions that seem impossible, but you just have to keep throwing yourself against the problem until you get good enough to beat it. Like, is that maybe the problem you had with it? Which, if it is, is understandable, you know? Demon Souls and stuff like that isn't for everyone, that's for sure. And I'm actually one of the people that feels there probably should be some uh, difficulty options in games like Borderlands, you know what I mean? I think it's it's better to have them. Legitimately, I kind of like this camo. I have no idea what it does, but I kind of like it. That was definitely a part of it, and I have no patience for it. The other one was Bloodborne. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, it's. I think for you, it's more just like a genre thing, which is fair. You know what I mean? I do think Demon Souls as a whole, that whole genre of games is uh, a bit overrated myself, to be honest. That wasn't going to be my answer. Um, and I personally really enjoy that style of game, but I do agree that they tend to be overrated, you know, and I think that they should make concessions for more people, which is one of the reasons why I think it's overrated. You know, everybody wants everything to be like a Demon Souls game, but that would ruin gaming for a large chunk of people. Like, I don't think that's actually a good idea. In the viewer. 
pain camo uniform wards off hornets, spiders, and leeches. That's pretty cool. Also allows wearers to tame hornets. Ew. <laughs> yeah, you didn't know that? <laughs> naked is one of the options. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're still wearing, like, underwear, right? And the naked? Yeah. Oh, you're still wearing pants in general. That's right. You're just not wearing a shirt is all it is. So what's the animal one do? Animal skin camo uniform. Wearing it removes any handshaking while aiming a gun. What? For real? That's pretty cool. I like that, man. Too bad it, like, sticks out so freaking much. <laughs> At least everywhere we've been so far. Anyways, for me, mine was Resident Evil 4. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which, so many people hold up Resident Evil 4 as, like, the best Resident Evil game. Just one of the best games on the PlayStation 2 or of all time and all that. And again, I've only played a couple hours of it. I plan on playing the rest. Maybe my opinion will change. But I don't think Resident Evil 4 is that good. The gun control feels terrible. Um, from what I've played of it, the puzzles are shit compared to like 1, 2, and 3. The the over-the-shoulder camera, I don't think creates as much suspense for a survival horror game as something like, you know, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3's fixed camera. Like, I just, I don't think it's, I think it's an okay game. The only thing I legitimately didn't like about it was the gun handling. Um, but I don't think as a survival horror game or as a Resident Evil game, I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the rest. So hearing everyone say how it's the best Resident Evil game is just like, for me, why it's so, feels so overrated. Like, but teach them, teach them. It can't be fun. I wouldn't consider it the best game ever, which is fair, you know, and everybody's personal preferences differ and that's fine. You know, I don't have to like what other people like and vice versa, but I just don't see how people think it's the best Resident Evil game, you know? It's like, Kingdom Hearts 3 is a good game. It's not a good Kingdom Hearts game, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, Final Fantasy 13, good game. A lot of fun, decent story, um, but a shit Final Fantasy game. <laughs> like, you know? Like, I don't know. Uh, to me, it would just be really weird if people were calling Kingdom Hearts 3 or Final Fantasy 13 the best of those series is when, uh, just as somebody that enjoys those series, I can't, I don't see how. And I feel the same for Resident Evil. Like, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm a hardcore Resident Evil fan, but I do like retro Resident Evil, and I don't see how 4 is just better in any way than the other ones. Other than, well, look, it's prettier. You lost connection? ridiculous inexcusable my guy what's your most overrated game nate that you've played gta 5 single player i think is underrated legit multiplayer 100 percent 100 percent multiplayer gta 5 sucks <laughs> it's it's just not fun man i i legitimately stopped playing the single player of gta 5 because my brother basically forced me to play the multiplayer. And then we both found out that it was just terrible. <laughs> like, it's just not fun on its own. There's stuff you can do to make it fun. Like the roleplay servers and stuff like that. That look fun. But just in and of itself, it was so boring, man. And at that point, I was just like, after trying that for a couple days, I was like, I think I'm just done with GTA 5. And then just never went back and played it again. Even though legitimately, I think the story mode, the single player mode, was the best of all the GTA games that I've personally played. So fair. Good answer. I like that one. At least if you're talking about multiplayer. If you're talking about the single player, then I wholly disagree and you're a madman. But... You know, teach their own. Uh, <laughs> we probably don't need the animal suit, the fur suit on right now. Let's switch it for for the the bee one. Do 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 do. Hornet stripe, which actually kind of works in this area apparently, which is nice. And uh, for shits and giggles, we'll just <laughs> we'll wear the mask because I don't know why not. <laughs> The story's great. I agree 100% with that. What is that stuff on the ground? That's a that's a snake. Uh, we should try the trank trick that you were just telling us. So does this work on like mice? Oh, 
Look at that. That's really cool. Okay. Uh, can we trank snakes? Looks like we can. I'll keep you, friend. And what are these things? Are they fruits or... They look kind of like fruit. I can't see what that says. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Can we pick up one at a time? Okay. R fruit B and D med. Okay. Well, I mean, look. I'm happy to have it whatever the hell it is. Is that more crab? Oh, that's frog. Die, frog. Thank you for the food. Wait. Oh, wait. There's nothing here? <laughs> they put this ledge here and there's nothing? That's terrible. I thought we found a secret. We should probably keep our eye out for potential enemies at some point. I don't know when we start coming across, like, other people again. <laughs> Nana Sarah got into the sandwich that she made for you? I'm sorry, dude. That sucks. <laughs> I'm not bothered by it as much as some people are. Um, but I get it, you know? Like, it's still pretty gross. I probably should have uh, eaten the snake, because I still don't know if the fruit goes bad. This looks like a trap in some way. All of that stuff in there. Are those claymores on the ground? I think those are claymores on the ground. I'm not trying to get double claymored again. By the way, thank you for clipping that, Chocobo. <laughs> the double claymore. I didn't even think about it whenever it happened. But yeah, that was, that was a good one. There we go. I'm just proud of myself for noticing obvious trap before I fell for it. Those bats? Or is that just stuff dripping? I don't know. Either way, I'll just leave the torch away for now. <laughs> don't think there's anywhere else we can go in here, right? No. Up we go. I still wanted someone to explain to me how mushrooms recharge our batteries. If anyone knows how the hell that works, I'm all ears. Because if we can just make bio batteries in real life, that'd be pretty dope, dude. Imagine if you could just have a little garden outside that powered your house. I mean, I guess that's basically just what solar panels are, but <laughs> you know what? It's different. How do we tame the hornets? So that was one of the things mentioned on the, uh, the camo, that we can tame hornets. And now I just want to become a hornet tamer. Oh, hi there. You're a... Are you a person? You look like a monkey. You just shoot a nest near you. Okay. That goes boom. Oh, the croc cap. I forgot about... I forgot all about that. That's a good call. Okay. Yeah, dude. Camouflage. Face. Where is it? I know I got it. Is it under uniform? Wait, did I die after I got it? Or no, it's an item. It's an item. Okay. Uh... Do 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 do. Rock cat. What do you mean no use? What do you, what do you mean no use? 
Is it because it's probably because I'm wearing the box or the the mask? Um, just no paint. Yeah, there we go. I can't crawl with it on though, sadly. Oh, I can swim. We have a negative four rating on our <laughs> camo right now. Hold on. Is there Ah, oh, but if I change it, I'm gonna get leeches. I don't want leeches. I guess maybe if I just crouch instead of going like all the way down. That'd probably do the job. Maybe try to get off to the side here. Damn it. <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not trying to swim. Just trying to crouch, there we go. It's the best hat ever. You like it? Isn't it fancy? We might have to swim up through here, actually. I don't really want to wait for the thing, to be honest. We're going to go for it. Just swim quick. Maybe, oh shit. Which way? Is it this way? No, that's back. This way. No, don't stand up! Maybe we can, like, scare them away or something. a chicken hat in MGS5. Nice. And up. Oh, hey! This is actually the next area. Dope. That worked. Somehow. <laughs> is this also another area? Or do they just lead to the same area both places? Any way for me to like look around the corner? No. Hold up, save. Okay. I shall take your advice. That's not how we save. This is how we save. Do you want to save? Yes, I do, please. Unless you're misremembering. Well, having an extra save certainly doesn't hurt anything either way. So, we might as well, right? Saving la data. This is a chance to stretch a little bit too, you know? Feels good. Oh, man. You just saw the hair messages? Yeah, Noodle's really bothered by hair, in case y'all didn't know. She does not like hair. Well, like, dry hair's fine, but the idea of it being near her mouth or wet hair or anything like that bothers the hell out of her for some reason. Snake, have you heard of It Came From Outer Space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? And the mm -hmm, aliens mm -hmm. start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about 10 years ago. Guess I'm out of luck then. Wait, no, 10 years ago, and this is set, what, in the 70s the or something? Course. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record that Impossible. movies don't etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. You're kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make Fake sure news, dude. To Not gonna happen. Thing. All right, so find an old guy on a dock, possibly. Damn it, no, I don't want to save. Go back. 
<laughs> Hair doesn't bother you too much, but your mom found a Band-Aid once. And you think you would start filter feeding after that. <laughs> I mean, okay. Fair. I mean, if I had to pick between hair and band-aids, I would definitely pick hair. Um, I mean, I haven't had hair in my food too much. I can only think of it really happening, like, at a restaurant a couple of times or, like, from non-home-cooked food, you know? And when, like, it's something I'm cooking, I try not to let that happen, you know what I mean? Like, I, I try to keep my hair out of it. But every once in a great while... It does happen, you know, with long hair, it's inevitable to have it happen every now and then. And, like, it doesn't bother me that much, dude. I just pick it out and keep going. Normally, if I'm at a restaurant or something, I'll just, like, you know, say something. But there was one time I got a sandwich from a place uh, near my work. And I, I only had so much time for my lunch break because I was at work and I was starving that day. And uh, so I just picked the hair out and kept going. There was, like, two of them. Like... <laughs> Since your barber is gone, your sister said that she'd help you trim it, so I guess you're growing your hair out again? Dope, dude. I mean, as it should be clear, I'm a bit of a fan of, you know, <laughs> long hair myself. Is there any way to take this guy down without blowing up that thing? Because if we blow that thing up again, it's probably going to raise some more suspicion. I guess maybe using the croc cap. That's so fucking dumb, <laughs> Rue. Like, that someone doesn't work with someone just because you were a female at birth. That's, what the hell is it, Matt? You're a barber. Just cut the damn hair. Like, stupid as hell, dude. Do you know where that long hair don't care thing actually came from? I, I knew people that used to say that all the time, so I was curious and I looked it up. It's pretty dumb. I want to, like, shoot the guy, but I'm scared that's just going to put us back into, whatchamacallit. Come on back. Hello. Don't blow up. It might be okay. I don't, I don't hear any alerts going out. I wish we could crouch walk, dude. That would make this much easier. It's literally how you got Holland, the guy you originally scheduled with, sent me to her. Because he didn't want to work on a girl. Because it's legal shit, probably? I mean, dudes can go to salons, right? Like, and those are females, generally speaking. I mean, every once in a while, you have a dude working at a salon, too. I don't... I don't see how it would matter. I'm not going to pretend to know the law that well, but... I don't see how it would matter. Yeah, that sounds really fucky. <laughs> In fact, where I work, there's a salon nearby that I know a bunch of guys go there and get their hair cut at. Like, and every single person that works there, as far as I'm aware, is a chick. Like, I'm not seeing... Well, I guess maybe it could be in the first air. I'm not seeing a dock anywhere, though. Shoko. There will be a cutscene. Oh, wait. So, like, in the next area? Oh, hey. There's the thing for this area. Okay, so we probably just need to go back the way we came then. Let's go. 
Salons are aimed at both, but typically cater to females, where barbers are typically male. Don't know if there are any laws about it, though. I, I would be very surprised if there's a law stating one way or the other, you know? Like, that makes no sense to me, personally. But what do I know, dude? I haven't been to a barber since I was, like, 12 years old or something. Like, <laughs> I haven't even had my hair cut except for once in the past, like, 10 years. And that was Noodle took off just a couple inches for me. Barbers are generally cheaper around there. I feel like, again, not a barber person, never been to a salon. But I feel like that's probably just the truth in general. Like, barbers, to me, just seem like they would be cheaper. I'm gonna go this way first, I think. No idea which way is the correct way, or if they just both lead to the same area, but... I guess we could check the map after we get in here, and that would probably show us. Uh, I'm a map. I'm a map. I'm a map. I don't see where the other one goes. That does look like a dock, though. See the rugby helmet and some clippers. Um, maybe the other way is the correct way to go. Let's go back. I want to check out the other one. Do it the good old-fashioned way, man. Get yourself a bowl cut. Find a large metal or glass bowl, stick it on your head, and then you just trim around it, right? <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> or do what we did when we were kids. Just your stepdad sits you down, all of the boys, on chairs, takes a pair of clippers, three seconds per head, and <laughs> then you're done. <laughs> on with your life. Warehouse exterior. Okay. So they do definitely lead to different places. You look terrible. Wait, so you did a bowl cut before? <laughs> Here's the cut scene, though. So wait, maybe, maybe the other direction was the right way to go? Your hands Look off who me. it is. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, really okay. Now? How many times must I tell you? <laughs> you do it in the cutscene or after the cutscene? Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Vulcan. Immediately after, okay. Damn you. Damn, dude. Putting a volts through it or melt her stockings there. Holds it right there, traitor. Let's find out just how lucky you are. Watch closely. One of these three guns has a single bullet in it. I'm going to pull the trigger six times in a row. Are you ready? 
That's pretty decent odds, man. Each one's a six shooter, right? So that's a one in three chance, essentially. <laughs> you're fine. Looks like your luck hasn't run out yet. There's no such thing as luck on the battlefield. <laughs> you trying to say Kojima has a piss kink? <laughs> You'd better stay in line from now on. The Cobras will take care of him. The CIA dog been disposed of yet? The pain is dead. What? Somebody's angry. He may be a child, but he's definitely one of yours. Fear Khrushchev may have a hand in this. We have no time to lose. You must eliminate him before the final test. Don't worry. Business. They'll be able to handle it. Have we met this old guy yet? I'm leaving him to you, the fear. But it's vampire dude again. I'm guessing different vampire dude from the one we fought in too. The old man is always sleeping. Is he all right? The end is saving what life he has left in him for battle. Normally, he's dead. But he'll wake up when the time is right. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Nah. Sokolov isn't worth your love. You can entertain me until the rain stops. Creep factor just went up a lot. <laughs> the sorrow, is that you? I'm guessing the old man's the one we're shooting, right? I don't have a sniper, I don't think. Uh... Oh, God. I don't think we did it right. Patrol here. We're under enemy fire. Enemies 
position is unknown. Going into alert formation. I don't think we did it right. <laughs> Nope, they see us. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I did it right either. <laughs> okay, well, we saved. Can we skip the cutscene? That's the real question. Because I would love to try it again. That sounds cool. Do we have a sniper rifle? Because that would probably make it a lot easier. Shit. Circle. We have the shotgun. No. No, we do not. So, wait. Like, I didn't see him, though. Am I just blind? That's a real possibility. Or maybe we need to leave and go to the other side? It's like, I don't even see the old man here anymore. Uh, that's probably gonna hurt. That's fine. Go ahead and kill me. I don't care, guys. Here. In the meantime... Wait, did I miss? It might just be too far away to hear it, ow. <laughs> We're gonna try it one more time. Okay, kill me. That's fine. I don't care. Boop, 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 boop. Continue. Oh, shit. Okay, so it right after the the cutscene it's just hard to do you can skip the same boss with the clock in between oh because he's old <laughs> so like if you set the clock really far forward he just like dies or something is that is that how it works <laughs> that's funny that's <laughs> okay uh back back i don't see him though Am I just blind, or is he here somewhere? Wait, is that him behind... Like, right there? Somebody was being wheeled back right there. Yeah! Ooh, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. I think we got this. Here, just just kill me real quick so we can reload. Dad, I'm not I'm not gonna fight back. Just don't knock me in the water. That'll make it take longer. Suppressor, yeah, suppressor would be a good idea. So we might be able to get a couple shots off without being seen. God, you guys really suck at this, you know? I'm not even moving. How are you missing me so much? But dude, you knocked me back into the water. Now you're going to have a harder time hitting me. Square with no gun. Ow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. For like the... Okay, if we fuck up again, that's what we'll do. Like for the uh, stealth kills and stuff. Da, 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 da. Actual gun. Yeah, because he's like hiding right behind there. If I shoot now, though, my god, dude. Die! Get out of the way! Seriously? I think he's gone already. Is he gone? Support unit. Confirm their status. 
I think, yeah, I think he's gone. Practice CQC. Enemy is attacking from an unknown position. Begin the alert status. Enemy's right here, dude. Chill. Ow. How is the game? Welcome, welcome, Sensu Bean. Uh, so far, really good. I'm trying to do this this uh boss skip method that Chocobo mentioned. We're struggling with it a little bit. I don't want to load into the next zone. How do we... So we just get like... Kind of hard with the dudes with the shields, I suppose, huh? Maybe circle? Circle is the punch button, so that might make sense. How do... Oh god, we are so stuck. I need out of here, please. Dudes with shields, I don't know if it's going to work on so much, though, because <laughs> it <laughs> turns out punching dudes with giant uh, riot shields doesn't <laughs> it doesn't work so well. All right, so I'm actually going to try to kill this dude right here in front right away, because he's definitely in the way. Damn it, he He got away again, dude. What's going on? Respond. It's definitely our, we'll try one more time and then we're going to give up on it. I wonder Wait, what was that sound? There was a collection sound of some sort. Oh, we killed a spider on accident. <laughs> That's what it was. Okay. Enemy do, 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 do. Come on. Where's dudes without... Okay, that's just like basic kicks and punches. How do we... Do like stealth takedowns though. Left analog with CQC. Hmm. So wait, do you like hold circle? And then I mean I have the manual over there. I probably could just look at that, I guess, but Okay, last time we're trying. We got this. Probably not, but Okay, we need to quickly get you out of the way. And then I hit him, but I didn't kill him. Son of a bitch. Damn, dude. I mean, he's a boss. I guess it makes sense that he would have, like, a lot of health or whatever. It would be a lot easier if we had the sniper rifle at this point, but... As far as I'm aware, it's not possible to get this early. And if it is, we missed it already, so... And the only other thing we could try is maybe, like... Nah, because if we run over here anywhere, we're going to get spotted, like, instantly, huh? Oh, shit. Speaking of being spotted. Going to try to clip the kitty nails today? Should you leave Gary alone for a couple more days? Probably. I mean, given, like, his ear and all that. So, hold... Shit. 
you can see his thing go in the uh his wheelchair go in the the whatchamacallit in the door there so circle with left stick no circle with right stick no square with maybe it's first person mode Hold on, I'm gonna grab the manual. We're dead, that's fine. Snake, are you okay? Snake! 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 That's fine, shut. Metal Gear Solid controls. We got... You don't want to go to school? I feel that, my guy. Sorry, you got to go to school. Food properties, food capture. Snake versus monkey? Oh, that's for, like, the other mode or whatever. The story. Effects of stamina. CQC. Close quarters combat. Page 24. Direct throw, grab. Press the circle button next to an enemy without moving the left analog stick. So it is analog stick. CQC is a close quarters combat technique and used in proximity encounters with the enemy. Wait, time paradox? What is this? Why did it just go... Hmm. Anyways, <laughs> Snake can only use CQC when he is unarmed or holding a weapon, such as the survival knife or a handgun, that leaves the right hand free. Oh, so you can use CQC with a uh with the with the basic handguns. Direct throw. Press the circle button next to an enemy while simultaneously moving left analog stick. Snake throws the enemy as hard as he can. Grab. Press the circle button next to an enemy without moving the left analog stick. Snake grabs the enemy from behind in a chokehold and holds him prisoner. If pressed too hard, Snake will finish off the enemy. Oh, you gotta lightly press. You can also use them as shields, throw after capture, slit their throat, snap their neck, tap the circle button repeatedly while holding an enemy prisoner. Okay. Okay. Again, I don't think, sadly, this is the best place to try it because of the whole... Uh, they got shields thing, but... <laughs> Yeah, like, both these basic guns have the CQC marker, so in theory, we should be able to do it while using the gun. But see, there he is. He's right there. It's good to practice anytime you're wanting to die. That's fair. Dude. So not like I really want to get it because he's right there, <laughs> but I don't want to stay here forever either. Legitimately, we're gonna try one more time, and then that's that's legitimately it. Okay, so circle. Oh shit! Up. Oh, we actually got him. Okay. Oh, shit. He broke free, though. Probably because I wasn't holding it. Okay. And then... Oh, we knocked him out. And then if we press too hard, we snap his neck. Interesting. Okay. So it's the hold. That's what you got to do to make it work. And then what was the the throw? Was it? Okay, <laughs> that just snapped her. Or uh, slit his throat. Triangle, L three, click and hold. Oh, that's the interrogate. Oh, shit. I, well, we were in a bit of a glitch state there for a second. Ow.
GG Snake. Okay, come on. Uh, I'm tempted to just throw a grenade, but I don't know if that would la or like go off quick enough. During the grab animation, press the left stick in different directions. Okay. I don't think we got him, man. Damn. All right, well, as I said, that was the last time we were trying. Uh, unless we just die organically, then, you know, whatever. You're speculating on a place in PS3. Fair enough. I, I mean, it does mention different things about, like, pressing the uh, left stick in different directions and whatnot. So I'm sure there is something to that. We're about out of oxygen. Get up. Can you actually, like, see me here on the other side of the boat or no? I don't think they can actually see me over here, right? It's like, you can't destroy the boat, can you? The boat looks like it's made of metal. Uh, with, like, a wood bottom, but... I think we're legitimately safe right here. Okay, now they're hunting. Do we want to go in the doors or over there? I was hoping... I saw that grate along the wall over there. I was hoping maybe we could go there, but... uh. I don't know, maybe with some explosives or something we could break our way in. Or we could go back. Let's go back to the other place. Because I still don't know what's on that other path, really. We went down it, but we didn't do anything there. Could be, like, another way in or something. This area also seems mostly safe. More or less. That sound. Sounds like a UFO or something. Oh, it's one of the hovercraft thingies. There. What do I have more ammo for? I guess this. Although I don't have as much. Oh, hi. I don't think you can see this far, can you? No. That can, though. Uh... Croc cap? I don't have much in the way of breath right now, though. It's nobody. <laughs> Just a crocodile. Yeah, I saw the frog in the gate. Can you actually shoot the guns underwater? It's just a crocodile. How did you see me? All I did was duck down. Son of a bitch. Gotta be somewhere safe around here somewhere. 
<laughs> right? There's no one here. It's just a crocodile. <laughs> just... <laughs> You don't see me. This is a tough one, dude, on how to get past these guys. Ah, shit. <laughs> Croc mask only worked for so long. Okay. We might be better off just running past them, honestly. And like running inside, because inside we might be able to find somewhere better to to hide. Chaff, good good call. That was. <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> Just go in the door. Oh shit! Oh, there's TNT in here. Bro, there's a, there's the sniper. How do we, how do we restart the game? How do we, <laughs> how do we, is it all the top buttons? Or just like, nope. Is there a load from here? Maybe under the save menu? You want to save? Hold on a sec. No. I didn't see it in option. I might just have to get up and hit the button. Or, I mean, when we die. It's probably an option when we die, too, right? <laughs> it's just a crocodile. <laughs> oh, God. Stand up. Right. Why are you punching? Oh, because I don't have... There we go. I hate the controls when you have somebody like hostage. Oh, can you only back up? I guess so. Let's try the grab thing. I probably can't grab you. You're flying after all. Is there anyone else just like walking around here? Yeah, you, ow. Yeah, okay, so it is. The throw is you, you hold different directions when you're in the middle of grabbing someone. Hey, hey, flying guy. I need you to kill me now. Can I uh, blow myself up? I can catch myself on fire. That'll work. There we go. GG, Snake. So then I'm assuming if we go to exit. Did it really? Oh, I did, yeah. Network adapter one player. You were a mesh monkey as a teen? What the fuck? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what that means. Is that the, the where you're trying to capture the monkeys? Is that what you're talking about? Like the, the mode in this game? All right. Uh, da da da. Start button. Load game. Oh, out of bound exploits. That makes sense with the whole mesh thing. Yeah. Are there a lot of them in this game? I've never come across any. I don't think like accidentally, at least. I know with, like, uh, we didn't use it in the online mode, but Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one, me and my brother used to hunt out ways to get out of bounds, look up YouTube videos on how to do it and whatnot, and it was a lot of fun just during, like, you know, personal games. Oh, it puts us back here. 
That's not that bad, though. We know how to get through here now. We got to take off the mask, though. Face. Take off the mask. Just, uh, zombies. Fine. And then... Uniform. Was it Hornet Stripe or the other one? Okay, yeah, Hornet Stripe. Excellent. Why is that snake more attractive than Snake himself? Why is that mask more... My bad. <laughs> Easy one is to to a grenade while in a vent and crawl on top. Oh, does like the knot back or something like that push you out of bounds? Makes sense. Swim faster. I think we made it past him. Take those chaff grenades, though. Yeah, and we're in the clear. Okay. Up. Take that off. All right, so we just need to somehow get into that building, which may or may not be difficult. Two very unhappy kitties, but they're all done. Well, they'll get over it. It's for their own good. Stealth? Well, yeah, obviously, but, <laughs> like, stealth in these areas is kind of rough. Because you can't really see a whole lot. Camouflage. Can we... Oh, I don't want to... I hate leeches, man. Maybe don't shoot sky segways. Well, yeah, that'll probably help a bit. I don't know if there's actually any sky segways in this area. Oh shit, they saw me. Well, honestly, we're just here for one thing, so... I'm assuming the cutscene will automatically get rid of the alert status. Damn you. Excuse me, I just need to get past you, honestly. You as well. Aw, you bastard. <laughs> Sniper rifle! Are there bullets in here for it? I hope so. What is this? Uh, I guess nothing. Don't mind me! <laughs> I'll be on my way now. Super stealth. <laughs> Nobody's any wiser. <laughs> they have no clue what just hit them. Oh god, we're so slow. Go, snake, go! <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, they came over. I was hoping we could, like, wait out the alert, because I don't know if they'll actively hunt me down in this next area or not. Perfect stealth, man. Oh, yep, they they hunted me down, all right. Well, we have, like, no health, but it doesn't matter. We have a sniper. Said I'm assuming... We'll figure out if it's right or not, but I'm assuming once we load into this next area, since there's a cutscene, it'll give us a, uh, a clear on that. Oh, really? And all we suffered from was a couple cuts. Surprising. Uh, for cuts, it's what? Bandage? Uh, stipic disinfectant? And then suture? Suture, bandage, that, and that. We got snake and a cry about dumping disinfectant on him. Yeah.
<laughs> why? why? Why does Kojima do this, man? Like, what is the point of this cutscene? I'm glad we saw what that looked like. <laughs> Everything takes 10 minutes. It's important. <laughs> it's got to take a long time so you appreciate it. Uh, okay, we have 8 out of 8. We probably... Yeah, we definitely need to uninstall something. We probably don't need the torches right now. What is the TNT? Maybe we can blow up the gate with that. And then equip the SVD. Um. <laughs> uh, technically, I can't condone what you're saying, Room, but uh, I don't blame you either, dude. <laughs> I have no idea which, like, of these goes bad first, but that's fun. Do we have... Wait, not this one. The other camo stops us from shaking. Does that also count for whatchamacallit? For for the, the thingy, the sniper? Because if that's the case, then it's totally worth it. The risk of getting leeches. The animals. Now let's see if this was all in vain or if we stay in whatchamacallit mode the whole time. Can we skip cutscene? We can pause cutscene. Or is it skipping? Okay, it paused it. SVD. How do we aim down sights with this? How do we... Son of a bitch! Does it say in here? I just scope a triangle. I'm I'm pressing R1. It's not doing anything. R1. L1. It's fucking L1. <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. Did we, uh... And it is. It's steady as shit, except for when we're being shot. Oh, boy. Let's go. I think we got a chance. If we make it over there before we die, that is. Ouch. I was trying to actually throw him that time, but... The pressure sensitivity thing is kind of rough, man. Climb. Good snake. I do wonder with the dynamite if we can break in those grill grate. Yeah, everybody stop shooting. Can I like use a gun while I'm doing this? Like use them as a human shield and shoot? Probably, huh? If I had a gun out. Now, oh, that's like an instant knockout too whenever you throw them. Very nice. Alright, continue. Okay, quickly. This. L1. Zoom in. Wait, what's the fucking shoot button again? Square. Get wrecked! It wasn't clean! But, ow! But we did it! <laughs> oh shit, we left though, so does that mean that the camo's gonna be gone? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> What's his camo do? Is it worth it? <laughs> I did I wasn't thinking. Oh shit, dude, we might have to redo all that. Oh, you can't get the camo this way either. Okay. I thought it was only the, the time 
skip thing you you were talking about that you couldn't get the camo with. Okay. Oh, it's actually better to reload and not kill him. What's the uh what's the camo do? I don't know. I just think this is really interesting. Oh, well, they saw me. Would have been cool if you still got the camo this way since you did technically kill him, you know? But yeah, no, it's gone. See, now I'm just curious, like, what it's going to be like later. But alright. If you say it's better not to kill him, we won't kill him. Him a regen stamina. Drops his gun to suppress sniper. Ah, the suppress sniper would be nice. I agree. <clears throat> Let's double check and see if there's a load option in the uh, options here. Doesn't look like it. Screen adjustment, brightness adjustment, map. Damn. Oh, Trank Sniper. Well, that's still really good. Did that work? It's doing something. I held start select. Okay. Yeah, I held start select R1, R2, L1, L2 instead of just pressing it that time. That restarted it. All right. We'll do it the normal way. I still want to go get that sniper rifle, though. And that's a really cool... Would you call that Easter egg? I guess Easter egg, huh? The way to kill him there. Sure, that comes in handy in the uh, the speed run. Uh, load game. Slot one. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, once we got the sniper rifle, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it was just, just a matter of having a gun that we could actually see him. Although, I think I technically killed him by shooting him through the other guy. Because <laughs> I was just panicking and shooting at that point. But you know what? It worked. <laughs> so, <laughs> not gonna complain. Sadly, though, we're back here. Okay. Taking off the face. Might as well do zombie. It doesn't seem to really matter. We'll leave this uniform on. Uh, we already have the croc thing attached. And we swim. Don't swim too high. We'll pop up. I think that puts us in the clear. Wait, is that another one? Never mind. Looks like there's another one up here. I lied. Grab the chaff. Oh god, we're like right under him. We're a lot closer to him than I thought we were. There should be things like that in more games though, you know what I mean? Like that's really cool, man. And it makes sense. Because he was just chilling out there asleep on a wheelchair. Both of them make sense. The time skip method thing there makes sense too. Like... Why wouldn't that be an option, you know? Really need more suppressors for my trank. I prefer the, the no-kill stuff, but... Okay, the only thing I really want here... Now, the thing is... Oh, damn it. I thought I shot you in the head. This is HQ. What's going on? Respond. Okay, well, like last time, all we this really want anyways is the 
stupid sniper. We know we get a free clear. I imagine the hover bike's gonna be coming soon. What? The enemy's not here, shut up. No, don't jump in the water. Oh, actually, no, that cleared us. Okay, cool. WPG, what is WPG? I know there's a bunch of spiders over there for food, but like, I think that really matters. Thank you. Blitz grenades, TNT. Doesn't that look like something we should be able to pick up right there? But we can't climb up on that. Can we like blow up these boxes maybe? Another grenade. Uh, open door. Thank you. Oh, ah, behind the uh behind the 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 crates. I vaguely remember. Hmm, nope. Did nothing. I think it's a suppressor for our actual gun, though, not the trank. Yeah. I forget which one's which. No, it is for the suppressor. Awesome. Can we use TNT underwater? I feel like we should be able to blow up some of those grates. And the fact that TNT is here makes me think so even more. Remote control. Okay. So what was it again? Damn it. Square to plant, circle to detonate. Okay. Probably equip it. Not going to do us much good otherwise. What don't I need? I don't need the torch right now. Can we test it on this grate? Well, no, nah, we'll just try it on the next one. Wish we could walk a little bit faster in water. I mean, treading that deep of water is rough, though. I get it. I get it. But Snake's basically a superhero, so... Eh, more of an anti-hero, I guess, but same thing. Square to plant, circle to blow up. Square and then circle. Square then circle. And we can skip the cutscene. We've done seen it. Take it down. Down, snake, down. Was that great? Need air. I think we're safe. TNT, no use. Nope. Can't use the TNT in water. Uh, okay. Well, that's fine. I just have to figure out another way to make this work. You're free of class? <laughs> well, I'm happy for you, guy. What? Who's... Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Somebody saw me. No, get under the water, snake. Under the water.
Okay. We can probably... Can they see me here? They can see me here this time. You're so sleepy. I'm sorry, love. Snake under under. Oh, that god. S swim, snake, swim. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Might be better just to run through them, honestly. Yeah, they already see me, don't they? Surprisingly, no. Just a crocodile. <laughs> nope. It's just a croc. There's no one here. No, there's not. Exactly. Nobody here. Just a croc chilling in the water. With 45 camo rating, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Bye-bye, guys. Now, the question is, do we wait for it to go back down to zero, or do we just go into the next area and hope for the best? I don't know, honestly. <laughs> hey, Noodle. I know something that'll help you wake up, love. Bringing me an Oreo cookie ball. If you don't want to, you don't have to. I can come down and get it. Nobody? Oh, what? Okay, well, I give up. Oh, this croc cat needs to go. Take a trank to the dick. This is HQ. I think it's time for us to run and just find another spot to hide. This is HQ. Yeah, just, just one for me, love, is fun. Okay, I'm sure they're going to be looking for me in here, so... As soon as we get control, okay. Find better camo for this area. Zombies fine. Uniform. Splitter. Yes. Neg 65 on the scientist uniform. Oh, wait. No, I was trying to get info on this. Guess it will only show us the one that we're wearing. Oh, well, whatever. I can change to it real quick. Does it tell us anything else? No, just... Just that it's for scientists. Fair. Oh, they're coming. Wait, do you see me? I think he sees us. <laughs> okay. Anytime counters 99, they see you. I mean, that makes sense, you know? Damn you. They're everywhere. Oh, God. <laughs> uh... No, lay down, snake. Yeah, I think we're okay for the moment. Surprisingly few injuries, too, which is good. It might be worth it to just wait it out. I hate waiting it out, but it might be worth it. Bye, thank you. Love you. Oreo cookie ball. Delicious. 
It's nice time to just chill and enjoy a cookie ball, I suppose. Counter counts down so slowly, dude. Oh, God. We have 70 camo. Surely this will be okay. There we go. He's going the other way. It's fine. I wish there wasn't so much sugar in the Oreo cookie balls. They're not actually that bad, like, sugar-wise. It's just, like, I could eat a ton of them, man. Because they're fucking delicious. Still got almost a minute left. Come on, guys. Just give up your search. Turn. Go the other way. Thirty seconds. Then everybody goes back to normal like it never happened. You didn't even see anybody here. Sixteen. Fifteen. I just, like, I want to stand up so bad and just get moving, but... I feel like as soon as we do, man, they're going to spot us. Three, two... I think we're good. Oh. Canceling the alert. Return to your position. Of course you would stop, like, right there. Wait, are you just... Okay. For a second, I thought that was just his position, was just to watch this, like, one random door over here. I guess it's a really good thing they didn't decide to bring anyone in over here. Okay. I think we can stand up. Uh, we do have that motion detector. Detecting motion right in front of us. So that could be maybe above us? He's down. Now, I say I, I like doing the no-kill stuff, <laughs> but I did just realize we spent most of the game stabbing people in the dick repeatedly, so, like, <laughs> I guess I just like the idea of tranquilizing people. And since I usually tranquilize the bosses, I guess it makes more sense to just use the normal kill gun. Although, if they see someone... Like, dead, dead. They would probably get a little more suspicious than if they just saw someone asleep. No kill the bosses for camo? Yeah, that too. 
Although, until you mentioned it the first time, I wouldn't have really realized that was a thing either. Like, I did find the camo, but I didn't realize that's why we got the camo. Hide the bodies? Uh, yeah, I guess that would work. <laughs> I thought there was someone else walking around here, though. There is. There we go. Don't yell so loud. I don't think there's anyone up there or anyone else down here in general. There is the dude up top up there, though. Does he ever look down here? Square? Yeah, square. What is on the ground? Crabs. Is there anything in here worth collecting? Like, what is that? Can't seem to climb up on there. I probably have to jump down from, like, from the railing right there. Can we go in here? No, it doesn't look like it. And before somebody just comes, like, busting through that door right there. Can I... Maybe. Depends how far over he walks. Wondering if I can get him from, like, down here. He does walk over there, right? I'm pretty sure we saw him walk over there once. There you go. Continue your cycle. I don't need the motion detector right now. Why do you walk so slowly? Are you going to turn left? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, I guess we could shoot him in the ass right there, but... There was more people up there! Oh, we got noodles. Uh... God damn it. <laughs> well, <laughs> what are the chances they check this room? We have 70% stealth. Surely if they do check, they won't see us, right? Oh, box, of course. Yes, 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 yes. Kind of forgot boxes existed for a second. Uh, Why can't I wear it? There we go. That's just because we were laying down. It's weird that our camo is only 15 in the box. I thought it would, like, jump up higher than that, honestly. Is it just like a weird spot for the box? Like, is it better over there? No. You have to visit prison? What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Explain yourself, my guy. I hate how slow the caution timer is. Makes sense from a gameplay perspective, but... Hey, Noodle, thank you for the five bits, love.
Prison just a nickname? You serve time there with me? Oh. <laughs> okay. You gotta go to work is what you're saying. Or stop by work. I think it would go faster if the guards were dead. I mean... Wait, there's footprints? I think you're right. But I also think... Damn it, and that reset the caution timer. Why were there footprints? What did I step in? This one does seem more forgiving. Like, you don't seem to die as quickly as you do in the other ones. We might be able to just gun our way through it. I didn't kill anybody on the first floor, though, did I? Did I end up... I might have accidentally killed... Or I might have ended up killing the second one. Not accidentally, really, but... Bobbity bibbity breathing is now a conscious activity. Mm. <laughs> Joke's on you. Breathing's always a conscious activity for me. <laughs> What's up, man? Welcome to the chat. Noodle, thank you for... What'd, what'd you do? Did you breed? <laughs> I can't see. Yo, you definitely did. Bo be looking some sort of way, dude. Do we just go for it? Crap, you hate being aware. <laughs> uh. Sir Thank could have a double meaning about guards. Could go fast if the guards were dead. I'm not getting it. I'm missing this one. Explain thyself, Nate. <laughs> because you mentioned stopping by prison. I gotcha. <laughs> prison, prison guards. Mm. Yeah, I don't think anyone thought that but you, man. I think maybe you just need to seek psychiatric help. <laughs> Oh. All right, we're close now. There's no reason to, to to bust out there and start shooting now. We got 10 seconds. As long as they don't notice any more random footprints. Turns out stealth was a lot easier in the jungle. <laughs> Listening for the footsteps to dissipate. Okay. And oddly enough, we're more camoed outside of the box. So if we're just moving around, I think we're actually better off. I'm assuming they refresh the guard on the bottom there. We now know there's at least two guards up top. The one that I originally killed, and another. Where's the other one? Do that in prison too, wait for the footsteps to dissipate. Is there actually another one, or was it just magic? Is there like a camera here that I'm not seeing? I don't suppose, oh no, okay, you stop right there. This is not, I was using the trank, but I switched it to, to kill. So that I could save ammo on the, uh, the MK-22 or whatever it's called for the bosses. So I think I tranked the first guy and then killed the second earlier.
Yeah, I'm not sure who saw me kill this guy. So there doesn't appear to be anyone else up here. Unless... No. I'll say maybe he's hiding behind, like, one of these things. Maybe it's just because I killed someone in front of a doorway, so they just... I don't know, dude. I have no idea. Whatever. We got through it. Ooh, I'm back outside. I was just saying that it's easier to, to hide in the forest. Got violence isn't the proper option? Depends on the situation. It's also nighttime, so black works well. Wait, animals is actually better right now? Well, then, by all means. I would have thought the bright colors would have been worse. I mean, I guess it just, like, will confuse them into thinking that we're an animal. Could potentially use the sniper here, huh? To get a better look around. Uh, weapon. Probably unequip the TNT. And... SVD. So there's definitely some traps that we need to watch out for. Because I can see them hanging in the trees. Some trip wires. But other than that, it looks more or less safe. What is that? Oh, it's a monkey. Okay. <laughs> thought it was like a giant spider or something. I was like, holy shit, dude. Didn't realize we were playing Legend of Zelda. Got the, what are they called? Skulkulas or whatever? Like running around here. I think we're more or less fine. Just got to keep our eye open for traps. Is that a black widow? Or no? Is that a poisonous dart frog? This is going to be interesting. Why? <laughs> now I'm scared. see a ration or something. Not not a ration, but I see something up here. Can I climb up? No. Can I climb on the log and then climb up? That is a trap on the ground. That is a trap there. I don't think we need to go over there for anything, though. Another trap there. There's traps everywhere. Holy shit, dude. They got this place wired up. It looks almost like a dead body hanging in the tree. I'm assuming that's the way out, but is there anything here that we've missed that we should be picking up? I'm going to eat something, too, before it all spoils. It'd be cool if there was, like, some kind of indicator on how spoiled something is when you're looking at it here. Instead of just, you know, fresh or not fresh. Is 
There's something on this. That legitimately scared me. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> Wait, why didn't, why didn't we answer the call? What, what happened there? Was it Major Zero? Game's trying to load. Snake, the lab where Sokoloth is being held is to the north of that forest. Keep on heading north. Very helpful, thank you. Par paramedic. I think we just missed that call. Maybe they were just telling us how to get down. Noodles, huh? Instant noodles. Uh huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Speaking of which, it's more like yeah. sodium in a bag. It is tasty, though. I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, all right. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever. Right. <laughs> you can't just go get yourself some instant noodles? I realize that, like, this is back in the day, but you also, like... You presumably have some amount of money. You work for the government and shit. You can't just take a trip to Japan and pick yourself up some instant noodles. Okay, so I'm assuming... Go here, over here. And then... Ow. Ow. Maybe we have to do the, the jump thing, the dodge roll thing. To get up on this plateau here. Damn you. I, mean, I guess there might not even be anything up there, is there? Yeah. It does look empty. Okay, it's probably not worth it. That's another snare on the ground. Ooh, what is that? Is that a bunny? Uh, now the real question is, can I pick up that bunny without triggering... Nope. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I think we should probably heal that. Well, now nah, we're fine. We'll let it, we'll let it heal naturally. It was just more instant noodles. All of that for one live bunny and some instant noodles. Let's just get the hell out of here. Renini Gorky Lab Exterior Outside Walls. Renini Gorky. Okay. Now, for as secure as this place seems to want to be, oh, there's dogs. Can they smell us? There's a guard. Uh, better camo, maybe? Now that we're out of the forest? Looks like black is our best option. Okay. Um... Don't see any climbable trees. How do we get through 
the front gate. Maybe that's something we could use the TNT for? You're definitely electrified. Hi, snake. Not me, snake, but like, snake, snake. Hoping maybe, like, there's somewhere we can crawl under it down here at the end or something. Aha, there is. Look at that. They're better camouflaged, because that dude is looking for us. Tiger Stripe. Just change our clothes right in front of the dude. Actually, animals is better for some reason. Ninety percent camo. I'm just a forest animal. Please don't shoot me. <laughs> there's nobody here. Damn straight, there's nobody here. Reminder to move. I'm busy. Watch. Thank you, though. And suddenly the camo sucks. <laughs> uh, I guess back to black. Probably, yeah. Kill you just so you don't bite me, really. I'm assuming we can probably shoot out the lights, too, right? Because that's something you could do in the previous games. The dog is what worries me. I don't know the best way to deal with the dog. It's like, I feel like the people are probably f separated far enough. That we could just trank them and deal with them that way. But dogs have noses and better eyes in the dark, don't they? Pretty sure they have better night vision than humans. <laughs> yeah? Uh... Here he comes. Wait for him to get close. We have good camo. I don't even know where the dog is. Oh, you're right there. Are you two gonna separate? We do have our silencer equipped, or suppressor, whatever you want to call it. Walk, like, into this patch of grass right here. That would be perfect. I can just drop you in the grass. You're not going to, though, are you? You are walking straight for me in a way that really makes me nervous. Is the dog going to come check on its owner? I didn't mean to actually shoot. Okay, well. You just scare easily? I don't want to get caught. Oh, that's a snake moving around. Okay. Crawl through this dead body. Hi, doggy.
What? Okay. I think we're good. I, I That's all I saw, at least. And before, like, somebody comes running around the, the side. What'd you drop? Oh, there it is. Blitz that I don't care about. Thought I heard someone walking. That worried me. I'm actually going to try to hide this body in case somebody does come around the edge of the building there. So there could be another person over here. I'm not sure. Possibly worse, a dog. I don't see another person, but maybe a back way in. Let's eat some food. Are you still good, Mr. Crab? You are. <laughs> Yummy. Uh, I don't like that light. This is the real gun, not the trank, right? Yeah. Are these armored freaking lights? Okay, <laughs> well, <laughs> guess you can't get rid of the lights on this game. Not without a, a freaking snooper, a snooper, super gun at least. Wait. What? It's doing like the cutscene thing. It's locked. Son of a bitch. Uh... <laughs> knock, knock? <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sure there's no other people around here. Can we go in just the front door? No. Legitimately try knocking? Okay. Oh shit, I didn't mean to shoot you. And you don't drop like a key card. Oh, ding dong, pizza's here. Bruh, pizza sounds really good. Noodle, do you want to... Uh, how do we knock again? There we go. It didn't seem... Oh, there we go. Okay, just a second. Damn it. Oh, damn it! Radio, get us some Why do you do freaking people die? Ow!
How did that shot miss? You know what? Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just going inside. I'm done. I don't want to fight you. Should have just snuck in behind you instead of trying to kill you. Okay. Uh, What's the best? Are we at the point where scientist uniform makes sense? No. Okay. Well, we're actually wearing the best stuff right now. Stun grenades are our friends. Ninety-five percent hidden. It's still at ninety-nine point nine nine, so they must see us. Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here. Just go in. <laughs> run. <laughs> just just run through the whole thing. It's fine. Okay. Well, now that we're in a lab, shit. Okay. Nobody sees us. Camouflage, uniform, scientist. Although snow is better for some reason. Let's do scientists anyways, just because I want to see us in a scientist uniform. Uh, And then face? Probably no paint, huh? No. For some reason, a scientist walking around with zombie makeup makes more sense. Sure, that's fine. Ow. No, grab him. Grab him. Grab him. No, oh my God, dude. We're going to die. <laughs> I'm just a lowly scientist. Grab. I don't know why I couldn't grab to save my life, but whatever. Oh, because I'm wearing the scientist stuff, huh? I jump over this by any chance? No. Okay, turns out I think the scientist outfit was actually a bad idea. Let's go with snow. <laughs> Still can't jump over this, sadly. Are you the last person hunting for me? Because if so... Your day is about to get real bad. Excuse me? Uh, game? Okay, whatever. Uh, okay. There's no blood here. Nothing to see. Y'all are just gonna take a short nap behind the receptionist desk. You know what? Sixty-five percent. That might be about as good as we can get. And I think Noodle might have fallen asleep because we were talking about pizza and she didn't instantly reply. Well, if nobody's actually gonna come looking for us, then you know what? I want to get a good look down this hallway. Well, I didn't, but you know what? They didn't see me either, so it's fine. Is it possible to hide you under the tape? That door opening, though. What is in here? Goodbye. <laughs> There's a person in there. 
<laughs> oh boy, okay. What is down this hallway? Nothing that we can see. Is it better to be dressed as a scientist right now? I legitimately don't know what the answer is here. I mean, right now it's neg 40, but that could be because we're in the evasion mode. Okay, there's another person there. Oh god, someone just woke up. Why did you not go down? I could have swore we hit him in the head. Hit the fucking alarm. Need like a side room or something. Oh god damn it. Somebody else is here. Hold on. Goodbye. Nope. Get off the wall, snake. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. Dodge roll. <laughs> Where's an acceptable place to be a box? This is an acceptable place to be a box. Damn you. <laughs> Just kill him. I don't think this is an acceptable place to be a box, but <laughs> I'm out of options here, dude. <laughs> uh, while we're waiting for the evasion meter to go down, I wonder what kind of book we just picked up. Sagohi, Sagohi, I don't know how to pronounce that, but hey, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate the raid. Anti-personnel sensor. Da, 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 da. Where is the book? I just want to look at the book. It wouldn't be under weapon, would it? I mean, it wouldn't make much sense, but... It's also where they have all of the food, so who knows? It is, of course. Okay. Picture book for quote-unquote gentlemen full of stunning photos of young female models. Oh, Kojima. <laughs> I did not mean to zoom in on that. How do we go back? <laughs> Oh, Lord. I still don't have a shout-out thing. Well, I'm sorry, my guy. <laughs> I thought I did have that set up at some point, but yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate you, man. I guess not, though. Obviously not. There's nobody hiding nearby. Just relax. There's nobody here. You guys are seeing ghosts, and those people had brain aneurysms. That's what made them suddenly die in a pool of blood. <laughs> Gross. This box does not look suspicious. This is a perfectly normal box on a roof, man. Look, obviously this is pretty private of a zone, right? I mean, there was a, a book for gentlemen out here, so, like... <laughs> Somebody is spending time out here without being caught. 
And if they can do it, surely we can as a box. I thought I had done the shout out one, but again, obviously not though. Wish we had a better way of looking around. Is this suspicious if the box moves? <laughs> a perverted box on the roof, not being suspicious at all. Exactly. The caution just got reset. They must have found one of the dead or something. <laughs> Boxes are suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> What did the box do to you, Nate? Show us on this doll where the box touched you. Why is it you hate boxes, my guy? That was almost bad. So, I mean, we could, like, jump down there, maybe? If the caution timer didn't reset, we'd be out of here by now. Put down one of those gentlemen's men. Oh. Okay. In case they come out here. Let's see. I have to equip it first, right? Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, nope. I don't need. What don't I need? Just put down a bunch of claymores instead. I guess I probably don't need the uh, sniper right now. How do we use it? Uh, full of girly photos, interesting columns, press square. Hey, thank you for the follow too, my guy. God, I'm the one that opened the door. Oh, that was scary. Okay. Well, we can't seem to put it down while we're in a box. Oh. <laughs> There's pictures on the inside too. Of course there is. <laughs> God damn it, Kojima. Why are you like this? <laughs> Can we look at it while we're in the box? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See? Now it's just us and our book in the box, man. It's perfection. Love it. <laughs> Takes the doll, puts it in the box silently. Were you Isaac'd as a child? Is that what you're telling us, man? <laughs> Did your parents just lock you in a toy box? For ungodly amounts of time? Alright, come on. 20 seconds. We got this. No more dead bodies to be found. And then maybe we can actually stealth our way through here. I'm very curious how we actually make use of the scientist's uniform, too. Because it certainly didn't help us when we were under alert. Which may make sense. <laughs> to be fair, I mean. Okay, I'm assuming nobody has a position out here, right? They do on the other side of that window, though. Okay, so if we put on the scientist outfit, will they automatically be suspicious of us when we walk around them? Or are we temporarily safe? Well, in the box, it doesn't matter. Okay, stand up. Pause instantly. Scientist, it still says is worse than what we're wearing, though. Is that just because we're outside? I hear stuff. Just trying to look at my magazine, dude. Oh, well, it's despawning. Goodbye. Please don't be anyone on the other side of this door. 
Okay. I think we're okay. Uh, now that we're inside. What do we want to wear? Not scientists, no. And I'm assuming the, the zombie paint's fine, though. I don't like all these doors. Oh, that's right. This was the storeroom. Uh, about that. Where are we even trying to go in here? Hear footsteps. God, this place is full of people. Why can I not just be a scientist, man? Why do we have to be some badass soldier dude? Why can't we just be a... A spy or something? Maybe the table? Can I even get to the table in time? Okay. Wait, do I want a snake gun? Yes. I don't know what that is, but yes. <laughs> My idea right now is hide under this table. Surprisingly, none of this camo is good. Um, until the guy comes back and trank him. Wait, where? Oh. He's the same guy? Shit, are there multiple guys that patrol this hallway? The the pen gun? Is that what you're talking about? Oh, I remember. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he mentioned something about a, a gun that looks like a snake. Okay. Yeah, I vaguely remember. As, like, a joke. But we were talking about being a spy. I gotcha. I'm hoping there's just one guy that... Comes back and forth through here. That, oh, nope. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, wait. We're out of alert. Oh, okay. Thank you for feeding, Bo. I don't know where we're actually trying to go right now. Uh, let's call the Major, actually. Maybe he can help us out. Better how now if you still want to get a walk-in before it's too dark outside? I feel it, dude. Have a nice walk, my guy. All right. Give us a hint. Where are we going? What are we doing? You've infiltrated the lab. 
The security on the inside is very tight. I've noticed. You'll find it difficult to look for Sokolov unless you're disguised as a scientist. Use the clothes that Eva gave you to disguise yourself as a scientist. Disguise yourself as a scientist. Go into the survival viewer and select scientist from the uniform. So we should be wearing scientist uniform, screen. okay. Just remember to remove your face paint. To remove your face paint, maybe that's why no it was coming up as so bad of, of an option. Screen. Okay, we'll try that again. We'll take off the face paint first, though. Camouflage. Nope. Face. No paint. Can we wear the mask? Would that be weird? It still says Neg 40, which is what scares me. <laughs> like, oh god, I just, <laughs> I just saw what Bo looks like. Bo looks fantastic, dude. Should we wear the mask or no? That looks better with the mask on. Walk, don't run, and don't get too close to anyone. Is the mask a bad idea, Chocobo? Bo looking fantastic. I wish there was an easier way to walk. I don't suppose maybe the directional buttons is just... Okay, yeah, it's, it's like a sneak button. But it's walking. The mask doesn't matter. Okay. Don't get too close to anyone. I'm assuming he just went in that door. Did he just come out? No. These door sounds are scaring me. You're going to go the other way, right? Yes, yes you are. Can I go in here or is that bad? We can get closer to people than I thought we could. Our injuries are healing, that's nice. Hi, Mr. Spider. Oh, damn you. That actually poisoned us, didn't it? Okay, well. Cure. Venom poisoning. What do we use for venom? Bones. Bones. Disinfect? No. Ointment. No. You just don't want them to see your face, especially other scientists. Okay, okay, okay. That moves leeches. Wait, do we not have anything for... Bullets and arrows. Cuts. All kinds of stuff. Broken bones. Cuts and gunshots. Cuts and gunshots. Burns. Uh, we just burn ourselves for the fun of it? Cut ourselves? What? Uh, hmm. Okay, nothing seems to work. Inject serum. Oh, medicine. I forgot medicine existed. <laughs> Legitimately, I forgot all about that. Okay. There we go. Do, 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 do. I'm just looking around. Did you turn around? Oh shit, you're right there. Yeah, so we really can get like really close to them, huh? For for the guards at least. <laughs> Dude, 
<laughs> I did. I did. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't mean to just. Okay, well. I just saw the little green dude and I was like, oh, cool. Maybe we'll check out what's in here real quick. And bam, <laughs> right to the face. Like. Oh shit, there's nothing else down here. So maybe. Maybe this isn't where we want to be right now. Wait for him to pass me real quick. Don't mind me just doing a routine inspection of the the cells because, you know, that's what scientists do, right? I wonder if earlier when we knocked on the door, if we were wearing the scientist uniform, would we have been like, okay? I wonder if they would have just let us right in. The way we're walking, dude, is more <laughs> suspicious than anything else. Just all hunched over, like, and whatnot. I think we're safe to run now. Back upstairs. All oh, the motion detector's dead. Wait, don't we have two batteries for it? Are they both dead? I don't know. What's in that room? I wasn't sure what that was, to be honest. I guess it is pretty safe. Like, we can get super close to the guards. I was just worried about going in there. I didn't want to get caught again. But down here, we might be able to hide under, like, some of the beds or something if we really need to. Okay, I think he's going in. We'll wait for him to come out, and then we'll go in. Or no, or did he just come out? He just came out. Something on the desk. Some sort of comic or something, and then some healing stuff. No big deal. Antidote. Oh, wait, there's some on the ground, too. Oh, well. Bullets that we already have. Please get up, Snake. Before you draw suspicions to yourself. And a Playboy. <laughs> of course. A couple Playboys, actually. I'm surprised we can't collect any of them. For use uh, later. Shit, I thought we were transitioning. Not yet. So we're on the first floor. Maybe, uh, so Major didn't really have anything for us other than telling us to wear this thing. But maybe Eva or Eva? No response. Fair. Who was Sigint? I don't even remember who this was. It's loading something. Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. Oh, uh, it's the intro call. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. Oh, uh, okay. So if we just don't know something about 
equipment, ask him. Fair enough. I don't think we'll really need that too much. Though he might have some interesting dialogue for the right items. Interesting. I guess it makes sense, but on the stairs are... Our camouflage actually goes up. But, like, with it being white, I guess it does make sense. Call him while in a box. Is it like, uh, when we called Major and what was that? One, two? I don't remember which one it was. Sounds like the Cobra Unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. For infinite rage, the fury. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss, because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. During the war, she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been no a anime here. Pair. No anime at all, man. We'll try again. Will you say the same thing, or? The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear Okay, warnings. yeah, he's going to tell us about, like, everything. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> Which, I don't know if it's worth the bit. Oh, shit, don't run. No run. I believe you. I mean, you've been right about all the other Easter eggs. So I'm sure you're right about this one. <laughs> Excuse me. stare at this wall for a second. Hmm. It's a very interesting looking wall. <laughs> the creep walk though, dude. <laughs> like, that, that is by far more suspicious than somebody just running around. No other scientists in here? Anything I need to worry about? I don't think so. I hope not. Saw something over here though to pick up. Suppressor, okay. Happy to have that. Nothing over here. And also empty. Oh, you're going in that room? That's fine. Go ahead, man. You can have that one. I'll wait for you to come back out. Bunch of lockers. Is it suspicious if we check the lockers? Can we check the lockers? We can. Faded old posters or something. What is that? What is that? That looks almost Neon Genesis like, but the kid looks like a screwed up Frieza? I don't. I don't know what that is. AK 47 bullets? Meh. Same thing? No, I'm 1911A1. Okay. I want to check that last room. Is 
this one. Oh, this is legitimately the bathroom. Okay. Guess it wasn't so weird for us to let him in <laughs> and us to wait. Weird that that one's locked. Why would the bathroom stall be locked? And empty. Can you kick it open? Mm, maybe. I'll wait for him to, like, come in and then leave again or something. It's definitely doing something, because the doors are now a little ajar. Can we still go in this one? Yeah. I think he left. Or no, there he goes. Oh shit, he came back in. Oh, you know what? It was probably the dude next door. Why can I not shut the... There we go. <laughs> Trying to take a shit in here. Okay, surely that was him leaving this time. Oh, damn. <laughs> well, it worked. Uniform slash fly? Stinky camo uniform? What? I don't want to put it on because I feel like it's going to make us smell after we take it off, dude. Oh, god damn it. Foul-smelling camo uniform. It smells so bad that it attracts flies, but it also makes enemies think... Twice before coming in for a proximity encounter. Okay. Well. <laughs> nice. Hopefully that doesn't persist after we take it off. I don't think it did. Y'all really need to get an exterminator up in here. There's spiders all over this place, man. Apparently fairly venomous spiders at that. Hold up. Okay. Is there anywhere else to go? I don't think so. You're missing a fun item. We've been to the, the roof with the book. We've been to the basement. Oh, yeah, map. That does exist. Uh, zoom in. We've been there. We've been in both of those rooms. That room's where we hid the body, and the other one's the roof. Right? Except for, like, maybe it's another segment? Okay. Because <clears throat> except for, like, jumping down off the railing, yeah, I don't think there's anywhere else we can go here. I don't like this very slow creeping. <laughs> the animation suspicious AF. It takes forever to get anywhere. Uniform chocolate chip? What is that one? Wait, so how did we get up here? <laughs> now I'm actually confused. May is, is there... What? I thought maybe this door is how we got up here, but no. Chocolate chip. Effective in desert or mountain environments. Oh, so it's just not, not the door you thought it was. Fair. It's not the door I thought it was.
There must be a set of stairs or something that I missed. One led to the basement. There was no way out of there. Then we had the library. The place where we hid that body. That's the bathroom. How did we get up here? There's nothing over here. I am lost and confused. So we came running up here somehow. There's stairs on the bottom right. I don't think there's anyone over here. Okay, that's the, the roof. That's the room we hid that body in. The stairs... Didn't that just lead to the basement, though? Or does it go up? Maybe I'm just dumb. That's that's a real possibility. Huh? Yeah, we went to the basement. There was nowhere else to go down there, right? I, mean, I guess we can go down and check it. Maybe I missed something while we were down there. Got a little too close to that guy. Surprisingly, though, he's like, he's pretty chill. He got suspicious, but instead of examining us, he just left. So back to the basement. Oh, I didn't realize this was open. <laughs> I thought this was, I thought that was a wall. The thing we can crawl in, which is kind of tempting. The D-Walk is very sinister. So, so honestly, if I saw someone creeping around like that, I'd be more suspicious than I would be if they were just running around. Saw that vent. I wonder if it leads anywhere interesting. I imagine crawling is probably considered suspicious, which is why I didn't instantly go for it, but... Now my curiosity is getting the better of me. Snake, go in the hole. Hopefully we don't dirty up our lab uniform. There's something down here. Is it helpful? Ah, another face. What is this one? <laughs> Why? <laughs> How is that possibly going to be helpful? Are we gonna are we gonna have a Final Fantasy VII moment? Do we need a cross dress at some point to to get through a section? Exterior inside walls. Okay, this isn't where I thought we were gonna end up. Uh wait a second. You know what? I don't want to be here. <laughs> I'm getting the hell out. I don't. Cause it's somewhere in the lab is what we need to find, right? Because we're looking for for the dude. And this is where he be. I'm pretty sure.
You can hear other people's footsteps, I'm assuming, on the other side of the wall. So this room should be empty. Can we check lockers again? We can. Empty. Empty. Possibly useful. More ammo. I'll always take. Thank you. And empty. Okay. Now what is this room? Looks like a doctor's room. Just going off all the bandages and stuff on the ground. Oh, there's another scientist. Uh, are you going to come in here? What? Oh shit. What? Huh? Where'd you come? <laughs> oh shit, they recognize me. Okay, well. I know a foolproof way to stay hidden. Just crawl in the vent. <laughs> They'll never find us in here. Ha! <laughs> Well, you know what, guys? I'm going to let this evasion counter count down. Uh, and I think we're going to call it a night there anyways, because it is getting close to nine. And let's be honest, it's Metal Gear Solid. If we end up running into a uh, cutscene, we'll be here until like 10 o'clock. So I think that's pretty a pretty good place to call it anyways. Hopefully next week, whenever we come back, we can figure out where the hell we're actually going. Because... <laughs> I'm a little bit lost, just a little bit. Anyways, thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me while I played more Metal Gear Solid 3. Chocobo, thank you for the uh, hints, tips, and uh, Easter eggs there. I appreciate it, my guy. A lot of that stuff I probably wouldn't have found without you, especially killing that one guy. Uh, but anyways, thank you again, guys. Until whenever we stream again tomorrow night, have a good time, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, <laughs> y'all. As China wanted spices. How about Japan? I like Japan. Japan, do you have citrus fruit? You do not have citrus fruit. Uh, you're poor as 